here on the beach. Beautiful day in the Anchorage. Had storms last night, but today is nice and bright. And bright. We've got the second part of Coconut Beach here. It's a nice little cove, very shallow. Have some boats and habitats over here. Betsy's, Betsy's got a, Betsy's got a new friend. We're on Manjack Key. And when you uh, take the Ocean Beach Trail, this is the beach that you will come to. This uh, beach has an outer reef. You can see it out there, the breakers far out. And so you don't get the full force of the Atlantic, but basically this is the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, about 600 miles that way is Bermuda. And this is a really nice beach. The surf is up we had some pretty strong winds from the east, but uh, it's just a real beautiful beach, not a lot of people over here. And today uh, we're going to get a haircut for Mr. John here. Betsy's going to do her high salon styling. Dolphins never get old. Pretty good sized pod. Late Show. Sun's coming up here in Green Turtle Cay, the Bahamas. See the anchorage is very still. Our north winds have gone away. And we're looking forward to starting our passage today. You can see the beautiful water. We're in about uh, nine feet of water here. And you can see the bottom very clearly. We're going to miss that. But we are headed for Charleston. We have the dinghy stowed for passage with the extra ratchet straps. We have the uh, parasailer lines rigged port and starboard. 
Now we have a little bit of uh, fuel. So we have a full tank, 120 gallons, plus we've got 10 gallons uh, left over from our runs ashore to get fuel here. Which should be more than sufficient for the run to Charleston, even if we have to motor the whole way, which hopefully we want. The winds are supposed to be fairly light, but they're going to be coming from the south starting tomorrow. So hopefully we'll be able to get the parasailer up and uh, do a little downwind sailing. We are leaving the Bahamas, headed out of uh, Green Turtle. You can see the land there. We're motoring uh, to start because we have uh, pretty much no wind. Well, a little bit of wind we have is on our nose. We have about a uh, about a two meter swell right offshore here because the as the uh, ocean swell comes into shallower water, it kind of builds up. And so it's not so much the uh, size that is uncomfortable, it's the frequency or the spacing between the waves, which is pretty short right now. And you can kind of see the waves. It's hard to see on video, but you kind of see how the boat's moving through the waves there. As we get out into deeper water, the frequency will spread out and be a little bit more comfortable. Well, it's 7 in the morning. Been on passage for almost 24 hours, and you can see the sun is coming up behind a fairly nasty little cloud over there, storm. Hopefully it's going the other way. Seeing a little bit of lightning in it. But the seas have flattened out pretty good. Unfortunately the wind that we were expecting to get this morning has not arrived. We we're hoping to be able to sail for at least a day, day and a half. But uh, not yet. So I'll have to be patient. We have uh, some wind behind us now, and so we have the parasailer up. It's uh, right on the lower edge of where the parasailer is stable. So if we can get just a little bit more wind, it'll uh, it'll stabilize. It won't quit, keep snapping like that. But uh, seas are pretty calm. Winds are from the south about. Uh, 10 knots, we need about 12. And we uh, covered 138 miles the first day motoring. We're going a little slower than that right now, but we have some time. We want to arrive at Charleston during daylight hours. So with the uh, parasailer up, <clears throat> We've got about four and a half knots of apparent wind, and we're making about five and a half knots of boat speed, which is uh, pretty good. I just have the wind vane set on uh, 180 right behind us, so that keeps the sail trimmed pretty good. And we're going in the right general direction. We're about 10 degrees off our optimal course, but that's not bad for being as far out as we are. So this is passage making, 100 miles offshore, and you have to be able to take whatever Mother Nature dishes out that day. 
We had forecasts for light winds out of the southeast. Instead, we've had winds from every direction, lightning, thunder, and a very confused ocean. We've got waves coming from every direction. Looks nice over there, but that's not the direction we're headed. We're headed into more grayness up ahead, so. We've got the motor on, sails down. We had the spinnaker up, but we were having a nice downwind sail with about 10 knots of true wind. And now we're in a storm hoping we don't get hit by lightning. It is sunrise. Almost 48 hours into our passage from the Bahamas to Charleston. Beautiful sky this morning. But of course we still have some thunderstorms. We've been dodging thunderstorms all night. Our wind did not come back. Thus you can hear the engines running. We're making about six knots. The sea's a little lumpy because some of the storms, thunderstorms have some wind in them. But not too bad. Pretty sunrise. We are about uh, 150 miles, maybe a little less, from uh, Charleston. So we should be there in about, uh, yeah, 24 hours. So we're just starting day two of our passage from the Bahamas to Charleston. Uh, winds are very, very light, almost non-existent. And uh, weather's pretty good. We've got some thunderstorms in the area. And we've gone about 235 miles in 48 hours. And we have about 24 hours to go, about 140 miles uh, as of 8 o'clock this morning. So pretty good passage. Um, seas are always a little rolly. And the uh, thunderstorms kind of kick up some waves in various directions. A little confused, you might say. But uh, hopefully early tomorrow morning we'll be coming into Charleston. We're through the Gulf Stream on our way to Charleston, about 60 miles out, 6.30 at night. And since we're through the Gulf Stream and there's no wind, this is how glassy the Atlantic can get. Very, very smooth. We had a few dolphins come by earlier and they only stayed for just a few minutes. So it's always beautiful to see dolphins. This is like being out on a calm lake. You can see little flying fish zipping around on top of the water. But all it would take is some wind, and this could quickly be inhospitable, very quickly. You can just barely see about a one meter swell coming out of the southeast. Very, very smooth. Hopefully the rest of the night will be like this, and we'll have a early arrival into Charleston. We're 
arriving Charleston and we're coming by Fort Sumner here and hanging on as we've got ways to be there. We've arrived Charleston. Yay. Yay. Fort Sumner as we come into Charleston early in the morning. Arriving Charleston Harbor just after sunrise. After almost exactly 72 hour passage from the Bahamas. So it's funny as I sit here in Charleston Harbor and watch all the power boaters run back and forth and bounce us up and down in the anchorage here. Sometimes you can get a little upset. I have to remind myself that it's a beautiful Sunday. They only have a couple hours to enjoy their boat, enjoy the water, and I am privileged to be able to live on my boat and enjoy it on a daily basis. So I just, uh, I feel grateful. And it is a beautiful day. Few clouds, but no thunderstorms yet. Here in the South Anchorage of Charleston, South Carolina. South Carolina is proving that not all the beautiful sunsets are in the Bahamas. Beautiful sunset behind the clouds tonight.